like it's already here. You gotta close those shutters still. Oh, that thunder's rolling, baby. major hurricane Milton that is barreling down in the Gulf of Mexico. We are expecting life-threatening impacts here to the southeastern United States, mostly the state of Florida. And the main threats with this are going to be that storm surge threat, damaging wind threat, and then the flooding threat that comes along with any kind of hurricane. So as of your Monday afternoon evening, you can see there is Helene, or there is Milton, pardon me, and Milton continues to push its way through, and it's going to uh, remain a major hurricane. And we're going to start feeling impacts in Florida as early as Wednesday, really. So you have about a day to prepare for this hurricane, and it's going to hit areas that were hard hit by Hurricane Helene. Now, here's the latest surge forecast from Cedar Key down through uh, Naples, Sarasota, we could see five to 12 feet of storm surge. The timeline of this, if it lines up with what the forecast is calling right now, this could be making landfall when we're in high tide. That's, so that's going to add to even more of that coastal flood inundation as well as the storm surge forecast here. Even as far to the south as the northern Keys could see two to four foot surge and then up through the Big Bend. You can see those outer bands even starting to push in by Tuesday across the state of Florida here already saturating some of those grounds. And then you can see our forecast model has the center of Milton as we get into early Wednesday, making its way closer to the coast. And you see how it broadens out in, in its size here. That's gonna add to more widespread impact. Now, heavy rainfall, it looks like the heaviest of it between Cape Coral and down through those. At this point, we're pretty confident that we're going to be safe from the devastating effects that Milton will bring. We just had Helene pass by less than two weeks ago, and she brought quite a bit of rain and very high winds. Milton is looking to be a monster of a storm, pushing the limits of the Earth's atmosphere, as well as becoming the second strongest hurricane ever recorded by pressure on this side of the world. So we're not taking any risks just in case he decides to change course last minute. All of our plants and loose items have been brought in. Storm shutters will remain closed and our backup power station is fully charged. Join us as we hunker down for this one. If you have the will and a moment to spare, it's a beautiful world out there. It's a beautiful world out there. Here we are a day before Milton is supposed to come into our vicinity before making landfall north of us which is still yet to be determined where it's gonna land fall because it's wobbling around. It keeps moving north and then it's moving south. So somewhere between Tampa and I don't even know, Sarasota I guess is where it's supposed to land right now. We are not in the cone of danger. What do they call that? It's not cone of danger, but everyone down here in the Keys is making preparations, preparing for the storm to hit. Even though we're not gonna be hit directly by the hurricane, um, we still are going to have tropical storm watches and the main concern is storm surges. So we're going to get about one to three feet above ground level, they're saying, which is nearly as bad as they're saying up north, which is 15 feet. That's scary, but people are preparing here. Um, they're parking their cars on bridges and putting sandbags around their house. We've got everything off the ground. We put um, a lot of stuff in our trailer, which is off the ground. We've got our camper on our truck to lift it off the ground uh, so it doesn't flood. The house we're currently staying in is at 17 inches above sea level, but it does uh, get quite a bit of water puddling up during a normal storm. Um, these uh, tropical storms tend to bring a lot more water. They're estimating about 15 inches of water rain tomorrow night. So tonight? Right. So we'll see how that goes. We've got the storm shutters up just to 
to help keep some of that water out of the sunroom we have and keep some of the noise down and protect us if something were to blow through our window at night while we're sleeping. But we're pretty well prepared. We've got extra food and water. As you can see today, it's a beautiful sunny day and it's a great day to prepare if you haven't done it yet. So we did our final touches. We went around to all of our neighbors and friends to see if they needed help and gave them the help and assistance they needed. We're just gonna hunker down tomorrow and we're right out the storm. Some of the gas stations are already out of fuel down here and there's no gallon jugs of water at the grocery store, but people aren't panic buying too bad down here. There's a little bit of it because our major thing is we may not be affected by this storm with the weather, but transportation may be cut off down to the Keys, bringing food and supplies if the hurricane takes out all the roads and the debris and everything is so bad they can't get down here we can be cut off from all of our supplies which is the main worry and concern people have down here so we do stock up a little bit So we just went and parked our vehicle on higher ground at the Walgreens down the street with all the other people on Big Pine and we're doing one last walk through tonight. Storm shouldn't hit us till tomorrow afternoon now. They keep moving it back and back and back. It was supposed to hit us this morning originally. Now tomorrow, which is Wednesday, around 2 o'clock. Um, so shortly after that is when we're going to keep an eye out for flooding. But it's nice. It's in the middle of the day. So we're going to do our last walk around for tonight and then head in and go to sleep. You're right. watching Twisters, the new one, and uh, Wait, during a hurricane. <laughs> Waited after a hurricane <laughs> with tornado warnings. <laughs> oh, and we're live streaming the webcam on Key West. No, I can't be quiet. <laughs> Living on the edge, baby. U.S. Coast Guard sector Key West, Porto. For a safety marine information broadcast concerning a tropical storm warning in effect in the Straits of Florida, Hawk Channel, Florida Bay, and near shore Gulf waters. Tropical storm force winds possible from early Wednesday morning until early Thursday morning. Southeast to south winds near 20 to 30 knots with gusts up to 40 knots shifting to the southwest. Seas 7 to 12 feet in the Straits of Florida and Hawk Channel. A tropical storm warning means that sustained winds of 34 to 63 knots associated with a tropical storm are expected within 36 hours. Mariners should alter plans to avoid these hazards. There 
are more hazards as Milton moves inland later tonight going into the early morning hours of Thursday. After it does make its official landfall, more of Florida sees impacts from Milton as it moves across the state. So this is a very long stretch, a lot to worry about with this storm. A lot of trees will be snapped and extensive power outages are anticipated. Remember, trees become dangerous when they fall on homes. The strongest storm surge is going to be just south of where the center makes landfall. But keep in mind that these numbers have been adjusted accordingly and there could be more adjustments. The average range of expected rainfall is between 6 and 12 inches, which is a lot of rain coming down on top of already wet ground. However, some places could see localized totals of 18 inches. As Hurricane Milton swirls around out in the Gulf, we find ourselves hunkered down, passing the time the best way we know how playing around a Monopoly Key West with our neighbors. The winds may be whispering just outside, but here it feels like any other lazy afternoon in the Florida Keys. We're calm, unbothered, and focused on snagging those hotels on Duval Street. But we're also a little apprehensive for those up north. We hope they took their evacuation advice seriously. And with another roll of the dice, we wait, letting Milton do its dance out at sea, while we carry on one property at a time. Okay, so Milton passed by us yesterday and you would never know a hurricane came by the lower Florida Keys. We didn't have any damage on our property. We didn't even have any blown around palm fronds. The water did come up to the very top of our seawall, but it never came over. So we're in good standing. We hope the best for the people up north and we hope it wasn't as bad for them either. Uh, until next time, stay safe, Florida. If you enjoyed today's video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, consider subscribing so you'll never miss another episode. And we'll see you next Tuesday for another adventure.